Welcome to today's Zoo to You. My name is Christine and I am a keeper here at Birds World. And today, we're gonna introduce you to Iggy, our iguana. You might hear some background noise because we're inside the, <laughs> the Birds World exhibit building and those are just some of our birds that we have. But today's star of the show is Iggy. Iggy is a green iguana and she is 18 years old. Green iguanas are native to South America, Mexico. <laughs> She's going to sleep. <laughs> and they've also been introduced to Puerto Rico, Hawaii, and Florida. Iggy weighs about nine pounds. Iguanas are really special creatures because they can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes and they are excellent swimmers. So iguanas are omnivores. That means they eat both uh, animal protein and things like fruits and vegetables. So in the wild, iguanas are known to eat bird eggs, smaller lizards, uh, different kinds of leaves, and flowers. One of her favorite treats is a banana. And what are some of the iguana features that the bee has? So iguanas, I don't know if you can see, but they have very long toes and very sharp claws. And that means that they're excellent climbers. They're also excellent swimmers and they usually live around the water so that if a predator comes, they leap from the tree into the water and swim to get away. Um, they also have these kind of enlarged scales on the sides of their face. And those are sensory organs. They also have a sensory organ on the top of their head that can actually see shadows. So it's like a third eye almost. Under her chin, she has a dewlap, and that's what they use for display, and they can also use it to help regulate their body temperature. Okay. And someone asked if she bites. Well, anything with a mouth can bite. Um, I'm sure if I put my finger near her, she would bite. But she's also really used to being handled, so she knows that by being held, she's not in any danger. But, you know, she, she can bite. Uh, iguanas don't have teeth. They have bony ridges inside of their mouths. And they actually have a really strong bite. Awesome. We have a few people that just joined. So they were just wondering what her name is and how old she is. Okay. Her name is Iggy. It's a very common iguana name. <laughs> she came to us with that name. And she is 18 years old. So in the wild, they don't live that long. They usually live to be about eight years old, but in captivity, they can be 20 to 25 with proper care. So she's, even though she's 18, she's still not quite at the end of her lifespan. Obviously in the wild, they have to search for food and deal with predators and habitat loss. So their lifespan is a lot shorter. She weighs about nine pounds. There are some iguanas that can be as much as 20 pounds, but she's on the smaller side. Usually females are smaller than males. And is it, um, how do you tell the males and females apart? So just by looking, usually size, but it's not always the case. Um, the only real way to tell them apart is if you get a blood test that determines their sex or if your iguana lays eggs, then it's a female. Uh, for a very long time, Iggy was thought to be a boy. <laughs> but just from looking at them, uh, other than size, you really can't be sure 100%. And you have someone ask about training. So we don't do training in the traditional kind of 
sense with uh, clickers, but we do train her every day, kind of like being used to being handled, because we do use her for encounters in different programs. Um, that's why, as you can see, she's so <laughs> relaxed right now. Um, so it's a little bit different than other training that you've seen here on Facebook Live, but uh, it's still part of training because she'll get rewarded with some nice treats and yeah. Awesome. And what about um, enrichment? Training? Enrichment. She loves to swim. In her exhibit, she has a little pool. Um, she, we also have a bigger pool that we can take her in. And then she can always get novel foods. Novel foods are foods that aren't part of her diet every day, but are foods that she gets as a treat. So she loves bananas, she loves strawberries. So right now, Iggy lives in the mountainside exhibit in the Birds World building. It's the very last room in the Birds World building before you go out the exit. She, yes, she does. So usually iguanas tend to be solitary. Um, they will inhabit the same kind of large trees in the wild. Usually the juveniles are on the lower branches and the more dominant um, adults are up high. Um, but she lives alone um, in her exhibit. Yeah. <laughs> She's very relaxed right now. So they're native to South America, Central America, Mexico, and they've also been introduced into Florida, um, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico, where they're kind of considered an invasive species. Um, so yeah, they're, that's what they're native to. Awesome. Okay, one last question. Um, if iguanas are always really quiet, she's clearly very relaxed right now. <laughs> what was the question? Is they're she very quiet? Or um, they do hiss. Um, like I said, Iggy is used to being handled, so she knows that she's not in any kind of danger when we pick her up. Um, I wouldn't try that with a wild iguana. And like a lot of different animals, they all have different personalities. So some iguanas, no matter how much you work with them, don't really like you in their personal space. And other iguanas, like Iggy, don't mind being handled. So it's kind of all dependent on the animal. Thank you for joining.